Hey everyone, welcome back to the CopQuest YouTube channel. My name is David, I'm the manager of agency sales, and today I've got a really cool holster for you. It is the Incog X. So this is a collaborative holster between Safariland and Haley Strategic Partners. So this is a inside the waistband holster that is mission adaptable to suit your needs. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, everyone, let's talk about the new Incog X by Safariland and Haley Strategic Partners. So this is a really cool holster. So it is made out of the same Bolteron material that Safari Lens 6000 series of holsters are made out of. This particular holster is red dot capable. Um, they also are making them light capable. So if you have a TLR7 or 7A or something similar, then that will work in the Incog X light bearing option. As far as fits, let me hit on that real quick. So they've got the Glock 43X, 48. There's also six hour P365 and 365X, as well as the X macro. And then uh, there's the Shadow Systems CR920, I think it is. That's uh, the clone of uh, Glocks. And uh, that's really it. So let's hope that they make some more fits like Smith & Wesson M&P Shields because that is a phenomenal weapon. Anyway, getting off topic, let's go back to it. So the way that this is mission adaptable is you're able to adjust your ride height. So on the front side, there's four holes. Well, I shouldn't say front. Um, this is a right-handed holster. So this would be where your sights are. There's four holes and you can adjust those with a simple Phillips head screwdriver and you can adjust the height with these clips as well as um, where you want it placed. In addition to that you can get a optional mag caddy that can then be attached here and run in what's called a sidecar fashion or you can even have that additional mag pouch run separate. Then moving on to the other clip you're gonna have the spacer here. And this is a phenomenal thing which will help you push the butt of the end of the gun in to make it a little more concealable. Let's talk about the finish. So the outside of the holster is a suede. So for those of you who are familiar with Safari Land 6000 series of holsters, you'll know that the plastic is on the outside and then the suede is on the inside. Well, what they did with this is they reversed that so that the suede is on the outside and close to your body so that it's a little more comfortable when you're wearing this holster. For drawing, what they did is they actually cut some material away so that as you get your grip, you're not getting that interference from the holster itself like some other holster manufacturers do. You have a high sweat guard, but not too high to again, not interfere with your draw. And then you have adjustable retention. So on the non-light bearing version such as this, this is where the retention screw is. For those that are light bearing, obviously they're not gonna be able to put the retention screw here because this is where your light's gonna be. What they do is they have the retention screw up here, kind of down below, you know, in front of where your optic is gonna sit if you have one. While we're talking about optics, if you have a like Sig Romeo 1 Pro optic or something similar to that, it's gonna work as well as popular suppressor height sights because Haley Strategic Partners thought of everything when they were working with Safari Land to build this awesome mission adaptable concealment holster. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our informational video on the Incog X IWB holster. If you're interested in picking one up for yourself, check the links down below. And then if you could like, subscribe and hit that notification bell because we love putting out great content for you. Be safe and talk to you next time.